loves the competition. Watch. 9 o'clock at KISFM Los Angeles, and I'm Bruce Fidal. At KMGG Los Angeles, I'm Laurie Allen with LA's Magic. <laughs> Leon and Bruce Vidal are a husband and wife DJ team in Hollywood, California, but they work on separate airwaves on highly competitive stations. And they even battle each other for ratings on the same nightly shift. But despite the competition, they are first and foremost a team. Is it fun sharing the same career, or do you think perhaps you'd have a more interesting life together, say, if you were a nurse and she were the DJ? It would probably make some moments in our life a little easier, you know. But I think for the most part, radio is, that's how we met. We met when she took a job at a radio station in, Detro in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Tell me about the first meeting. Um, Great. I was on my way in, driving into work, and I knew that I was going to meet Bruce Vidal that day. Because he was really the star of the radio station when I was coming into it. But I came in, and I, I saw him stand there, you know, I said, Hi, you must be Bruce Vidal. I'm Laurie Allen. You know, he goes, wow. Lori took whatever job she could get in the Rocky radio market while Bruce was already somewhat established when they met. I had to set about uh, convincing her that uh, she indeed should marry me. He took me to McDonald's. No. Yes, yeah. he did. He bought me a quarter pounder and a fries and a shake. And did you clap your hands the right way, whatever you're supposed to do at McDonald's? Yeah, it was, it was, all, yeah, it was all very perky. Six o'clock at KISFM Los Angeles. I'm Bruce Fidal. Today, Bruce has the number one rated show in his time slot in California. But just down the street, his competition is working hard to change that. Looking back, did you ever think in the early days that you'd be competing with one another? No, I don't think we ever really no. thought about it in those terms. I, th I, no. I think we at that time really thought our big dream was we'd work at the same station together. Yeah. But I don't think we thought we'd ever be doing this, head-to-head -head combat like this. Uh. All right, what's it really like? <laughs> well, uh, it, this is all a facade. We actually don't get along at all. <laughs> We're very jealous. Uh, no, it's, um, I, don't, I, I never think about it. She's my wife. I love her, and I want her to do well. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to be beaten by anybody, you know. But if I do have to be beaten, it might as well be by her. But, uh, <laughs> The competition takes a healthy turn as Bruce and Lori take time out to critique each other's on-air tapes. That was great. You did the silly award for the day. What about impressions? What do people think that you look like? They say I sound tall and blonde and busty. I always say, well, one out of three ain't too bad. <laughs> Let me think. You're not? What about you, Bruce? I, uh, yeah, I, I get a lot of, uh, I get mail from uh, some of the, especially younger girls that listen, teenage girls, and uh, they always think that I'm going to look uh, like their favorite rock singers or something, <laughs> you know. I, I always like to say, they think they're going to see Simon Le bon and instead they get Jackie Cleason. Their days are free for sunning by the pool, but come four o'clock, they hit the road for work, and this DJ team goes in style. <laughs> FM 613. Got a really special show coming up for you tonight. We're being, we're being filmed by Our Magazine, and uh, Bonnie Strauss is here with us, and she's going to let us show her what it's like to be a kicking female disc jockey. Oh, if we can. boy. <laughs> Bonnie Strauss says, not your love. Here she is. Okay, go ahead. Come on, say Magic 106 Magic FM. 106 right. FM with Bonnie Bonnie Strauss, the, the, uh, the other DJ. <laughs> All right. The Bonner. The Bon. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Moving on, a Magic Music Sweep with Ray, Ray Parker, Parker Jr. Jr. All yeah. right. <laughs> you do this every night? <laughs> that was great. That was great. Oh. 102.7 KISS FM. We just continue to count them down here. I tell you what, I just love it. Don't you just love counting them down? I tell you, life in a fast lane for a disc jockey. I... I'm burning myself out here. You have a good time. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes it's like, you know, it's like anything else. It's, uh, you know, you, you sit here with your head in your hand, or your head in your hand, going, oh, my God, I can't do another hour. Do you ever hear a romantic song and think of your wife who's just down the street? Sure. 
I hear romantic songs and think of lots of people. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't say that, dear. Just joking. Why do you think there still are so few women doing what you're doing? There's probably a lot of reasons why. I think the main reason is is because they don't think that women can be up tempo and come over strong music and stuff and still sound like women. Hey, you know, <laughs> there's been times when I haven't been able to work because I couldn't find a job. We've had to move to, uh, to city to city sometimes, uh, seeking higher pay and better working conditions. Well, they weren't going to offer that to me, you know. I was lucky to get a job in a lot of markets. Still, as a woman, you mean? Mm -hmm. Bonnie Strauss had an incredible debut as a female disc donkey just a few moments ago. <laughs> I've retired. Yes. When you're in there, you get to just talk to people, and that's something that I always wanted to do. Ever since I was 14, I decided I wanted to be on the radio. Well, are you trying to beat Bruce, become number one? Oh, yes, absolutely. Will I'll you say to ways. him when you get to be number one, I love you and I'm sorry, and yay, I did it? <laughs> <laughs> All those oh, things? That's fun. I will probably say I love you and I'm sorry, and he will probably say, yay, you did it, you know, because that's the way it works between us. You know, he, he's my number one fan, and, and I'm his number one fan, and together that's really how we managed to try to hold it together. Well, we did hear in the ratings that Bruce did best, uh, Lori, but of course that could change next week. Thank you, both of you, and thanks to the Bonner. Boy, I think she's got a new career. <laughs>